Hello everyone, so welcome to Aspect Zero of Bro5 Production, and next part of Sakura Spirit. So, it's. Uh, I took a day off just because I was out snowboarding and my leg hurts as hell. And it still does. Let's see, where did I put Sakura Angels? There it is. And sorry about the bad picture in the last part of Sakura Angels because I didn't get any good picture, so I just had to take something random. But it took me a long time to actually make that as good as it was. So recording right here. Like load game. Let's see. Well <laughs> I did it. I somehow convinced them to give me some sp peace, for the time being anyway. But now what? First and foremost, I should probably try not to forget lunch again. You did not forget it, you did... Uh, it took a little more time to uh, get them to explain themselves. <coughs> Otherwise you might just uh, keel over and have finished the job. For whatever dark forces that are lurking out there, I head to the cafeteria. The cafeteria is, as you would expect during lunchtime, completely packed. It doesn't seem to pack, it's pretty empty. The cafeteria. What? Uh, throughout the study, and taking up little walking space might have existed between the tables, equal to populated. I stand my ground and gradually work my way past the crashing waves of uh, students that impede my path. Of course, getting food would never be so simple. Eventually, I work my way to the front of the line and approach the counter. Naturally, after all the students before me, there was very little in the way of choice. I guess it's either this sandwich or this other sandwich? Hmm, what would I take? A sandwich or a sandwich? I think I take the sandwich! Neither of which seems amazing, uh, appetizing. Ah, uh, whatever. Anything will do after how much uh, food I missed out on. Sheep land sandwich in hand, I give a look over the tables. Like before, they are pretty packed. Though, uh, I do see a fairly empty table at the far end with, with a familiar someone happily digging away at the lunch. Even from this distance, I can tell it's Say Sayuke. Sayuke. Yeah. I can tell you spell her name right now. Her vibrant brown hair instantly discolored from every else's. Wasn't she blonde? I don't see... I don't see a car anywhere in sight. They must have decided to do their own things for the, the break. I guess if I want to sit down here to eat Sayuka's table, it's the only choice, but do I really want to eat here? It's no, so noisy I can't hardly even think. She hasn't noticed me either, completely absorbed by the dimension of her food. Maybe I can slip away to the roof where no doubt it'd be more peaceful. I sit down at so I guess. As long as not her car is there. Then again, I can't really be bothered on the scale all the way to the roof where to see the right before me. And I might be a wasted journey if people whatever reason people are up there. The table it is. Oh, that's just so cute! <laughs> the cutest thing that I have seen in uh, like forever. I have first Ayoko whose eyes light up at the sight of me. <laughs> Alright, I don't understand that. Her cheeks for full or bursting. Uh, she attempts to address me, frankly waving her hand in the air as food flies everywhere. Alright, my mobile needs loading. Just one second. I can't not stop looking at that, it's just so cute! Jeez, I don't talk with you, my... Uh, 
Yes, don't talk with your mouth full. Hey, it's, uh, it's okay if I sit there. Oh, no, 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 no. She nods into the shoveling another mouthful of food. In. I think she's very hungry. I'm no expert in the mouthful language, but I think she said, uh, "Be my guest." I I didn't notice it before, but she has tons of food on her tray, enough for ten students to eat at least. I'm not really sure how she got away with so many portions. It's no wonder if and they picked where slim but time to got here. I'm wondering if Maggie was used What? I'm wondering Maggie was used in persuading them to, to say we didn't give her all of this. It's scary to think just how easily she'd been wrapping uh, the school around her fingers since she arrived. Yeah, it's a little scary. I mean, right now she's only used to enroll herself and get extra portions. But where does it end? I wonder that. There's almost something sinister to it all. Joining her at the table, I unwrap my sandwich, take a bite. Yep. Just as uh, bland as I thought it'd be. Just the way I like it. Hey there! I thought you wanted some time away from us. Apparently... Apparently done with whatever food it was she had crammed into her mouth it, like some kind of hamster. She's finally free to talk. Though I can see her uh, begin an almost another shovel. As work. She's like a machine. Wait, did she stand up or still is she still sitting down? Uh, yeah, I did, but there's nowhere else to really sit, so it's okay. <laughs> you can admit that you just missed me so much and couldn't bear another moment alone without me. Um, <laughs> I have no response to that. I won't tell her, Carrie. Well, that's good because I think there will be a cat fight. Actually, tell her, Carrie. I want to see a cat fight. She grins and takes another bite. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. Funny. That's the point. Where is he, Carrie? She'd, uh, she'd be with. I thought she'd be with you. Hmm. Hmm. Eh, uh, it's okay. Finish your mouth first. It's not that urgent. I bring up my arm uh, to shelter myself from the flags of stray food as uh, excitedly uh, uh, tries to explain things. Gross. I was saying uh, she doesn't like all the crowds and noise, so she wandered off uh, on her own, mumbling something about finding a more quiet place. The roof! That's one other reason I figured out that I don't want to go to the roof. Do you think she's okay? Hmm, probably. She will stand another bite. Less than half of the food left from what uh, I first uh, saw before I sat down. Where is all, all going in the slim figure of her? I I can think of two places, one on her upper body and one just at her below, down her waist. But I won't say the names. So I can't. I think we know if something happened to her. Or more like, she will, the whole school will know, of course. She gets crazy strong when she's angry. Good to know, I think. <laughs> so basically, if we feel the entire school rumble, we can assume something has happened to Ikari. Uh, so how are you finding your time at the school? I think you mentioned something about having never been on one before. Oh yeah! 
It's great! Everyone is friendly and the food is amazing. As this um, prizes the point, she stares uh, into her food, her face brightly glowing. And maybe I should have more uh, worded it better. It's not that he carry and I have never been uh, to a school. We just uh, haven't been to a well normal one. What did uh, you guys go uh, to some sort of magic school or something? Hmm. It wasn't really being. Uh, I wasn't really being serious, and I didn't expect her to answer so honestly either. Really? Her mouth full again. She nods, having learned at least some manner. That's a really why she looks. It's really by the looks of things. Huh. A magic school. Where they teach magic? I want to go there. That sounds like a like it could have been fun. Toga Express and Darkens. Did I say the wrong thing again? It's not something I'd ever like to go through again. Let's just say that. Magic isn't something you just pick up in a day. No, I don't think so either. You need a lot of lot of practice and a lot a lot of well pain. There's years of studying, training and she clamps her mouth shut and slaps her hand across and stop any more words from leaking out. Damn it! She realizes. Whoops. Silly me. That was a close one. One of these days I'm going to find out just what the heck these two are. And they now. And she slips up completely and spills everything. I think I'm gonna st uh, stick to Sayoki. Okay. And I don't think it really her hair is really brown. I think more like blonde brown. Okay then. If I'm not allowed to know about this fancy magic organization you're part of, can I at least know a little bit about you? That's a pickup line. Huh? Me? I mean, you seem to know about everything. Yes, to know uh, about me. For whatever creepy reason, so I'd be nice to I don't know a bit more about the people protecting me, magic aside. Hmm. Man, she really has to think about this. Is it really that difficult for her to think of something that isn't magic related that she can actually share with me? Well, maybe she was created by magic. That would explain everything. It's a pretty much a full-time job, so I don't really get much time to myself. I'm not sure if there's much I can tell you without the, the big guys back at home getting grumpy at me. <laughs> but you know, she sweeps her gaze over the cafeteria and a small and a smile growing at her face. What now? Being assigned to watch over you is actually been one of the most laid-back assignments we had. We've been given the chance to enroll and live uh, something of the nor of a normal life here in, at in the school. Well, I'm not really sure if she's class if it's classified that uh, they did enroll, but I get what she means. Wait a second. Just being able to kick back and take things easy. <clears throat> like a normal girl. I see you as a bit normal besides the magic part. I didn't think I'd ever be able to do that. You know, I'm going to miss this place when everything is finished here. Well, stay! She falls silent and eyes distant. She lost in another world, right now, deep in her thoughts. I never figured her as the kind to do all this deep thinking. Like a normal girl. Does that mean she doesn't like her magic uh, way of life? 
can sh I can see how it might get tiring if you had to uh, battle things constantly like that. Monsters I saw another day. But she, she shows the lifestyle, right? At least I think she must have. I can't really ask her as I don't think I get away with more magic related questions for the day. What now? Hey, Kenta! Yeah? Ice gleaming and glistering the lips parted ever so slightly. She gives me a look that makes my heart throb. Oh, I think something going down. Why do I get the feeling she's about to ask me something really important to her? Yeah. Are you gonna finish that? <laughs> oh, that's just... oh, I don't know what to say. I throw the sandwich in my hand, still with only one bite in it. Oh no, I'm fine. Here. <laughs> Thanks. You're the best. Still in days from the looks uh, she gave me a moment ago, she snatched the sandwich out of my hand and without a resistance. Wait, what just happened? I was staring blankly at my empty hand, the majority of the sandwich already lost to the black hole that is Sayuka's stomach. I may have made a mistake here. I notice her tray is completely empty too. Spotless again. She's a monster! <laughs> Not really a monster, but she's hilarious. The lunch break soon comes to an end and uh, we're whisked back to class. The rest of the school day goes fairly normal. No crazy attack. No monsters. I still can't shake the feeling something watching me though. Another day down, another walk home. My two guardians by my side. This seems a noticeable mere tense compared to last night. Of the how class that fight was, I really don't blame them. We uh, were lucky she didn't pursue us back then, or uh, that could have been it for me. No, it would have spelled the end for everyone. The journey back uh, is silent, both the girls facing mirror each other into a look of shared determination. I want to know what's so special about me. This seems ready to spring to action at the slightest sign of danger, so I don't want to break the concentration with the mindless small talk. Gradually the sun sets out the route ahead, street lights flicking to life overhead one by one. Great. The more the shadows begin to creep in all around us, the more tense I can feel myself become. I came to a stop. Something doesn't feel right. Kenda? What's wrong? There's, there it is again. The damn headache. Out of nowhere. Wait. Hasn't there always been a pattern with these headaches? Usually happening during the day unless... Ah... Uh, ah, uh, right on time. You really do make this easy, you know. Of course. Then walk right into it. I really need to start to uh, find a new route home. A sultry laugh drifts from uh, out of the darkness, causing both the girls to assume offensive positions. It could uh, only be one person. There she is. Obsidian wings unfurl from a. Uh, uh, Amid night sky and the amber eyed adventure before making her presence known in the storm of black feathers. Actually, she looks like one of the persons I've seen in the school. Like in uh, one of the first part, it was a silver haired girl. Just like her, her hair, I think that might be her. <coughs> storm of black feathers. What was her name? Suzuki? Guess that doesn't matter. Names mean nothing right now. 
She has the mental look in her eyes, a killer glint. Much like before, she isn't here to play around. There's only one thing she's after. Me. Of course. Uh, but how about we take that next time? Uh, let's see. <laughs> Let's see how that battle goes down next time. <laughs> uh, well, it can. Uh, I hope it goes better than last time. But, Ali, hit like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Profile!